guys welcome back to my channel for a monthly G-Shock update. Today we are taking a closer look at September 2022 releases by G-Shock. We have a couple of new models so let's get right into it. Starting with the Street series. A brand new series with really cool color combinations. There are 5 watches in the series starting with GA110SS. All of these watches are based upon graffiti art patterns, which extends from the bezel all the way to the watch bands. The GA110SS goes for 24,200 Japanese yen, and that's roughly 170 US dollars. Next, we have the GM2100, which is one of the two metal models in the series. Something really cool about the metal model is the patterns extend right into the watch face design. The GM2100 SS goes for 38,500 Japanese yen and that's roughly 275 US dollars. Next, the DW5000 SS. It has overall a black and white color combination with inverted LCD display. This goes for 26,400 Japanese yen, roughly 190 US dollars. Next, we have GM5600 SS, another metal model in the lineup. All of the watches in the list has got the since 1983 markings on them. Some not so obvious, but it's pretty clear on the GM5600 SS model. The watch goes for 34,100 Japanese yen, that is roughly 240 US dollars. And finally, the G-Shock King GX56SS. It goes for 28,600 Japanese yen and that is roughly 200 US dollars. All of the five models come with matching tin cases as part of its packing. They look really nice. Here are all the five tin cases that come along with the watches. Let's move on to the next watch, the Daruma series. G-Shock releases these so-called Lucky Charm models on yearly basis. This year though, we are getting almost an identical looking models for the Daruma series. Both of the watches are based on the 6900 series. First, we have the DW6900 GDA with the Daruma face pattern covering the whole watch. The watch also gets a specially designed button at the front. The DW6900 GDA goes for 19,250 Japanese yen and that is roughly 135 US dollars. The GM6900 GDA similar design patterns and that goes for 29,700 Japanese yen roughly 210 US dollars. Both of these watches come with a specially designed golden tin can and matching golden box. Overall, looking really cool. Perhaps the most anticipated model for September is the all-new GAB001. These new watches come with some really interesting design choices. Starting with an integrated band and bezel design. So, with this model, you can't just swap out the bands, but it has to be together with the bezel. I think it opens up to new ways of customizing your G-Shock watches. Maybe you could get a different color for the top portion versus the bottom and it might just look cool. Some of the models in the series come with dual tone buttons for the light activation. And perhaps the most interesting one is the semi-transparent bezel on these watches, which exposes some of the parts inside of it. I really like how the watch face with all the 3D index markers and raised patterns for the section on the watch face looks like. I can't wait to have one of these on my hands soon. There are four color variants. The all black model GAB001-1A goes for 17,600 Japanese yen and that is roughly 120 US dollars. One thing to note, all the variants come with inverted LCD display. Next is the GAB001-4, same price with slightly different color scheme it's got a red strap and bezel with red accent on the watch face design next we have the gab001 g-1a 
probably one of my favorite ones in the list over here. It has got this gradient straps on it. So the straps will get darker towards the end of the entire strap. Looks really cool. Both of these green and the red, the red and black versions of these models have got these gradient straps. The GAB001G goes for 19,800 Japanese yen. That's roughly 140 US dollars. Similarly priced for the green version GAB001G-2, 19,800 Japanese yen, roughly 140 US dollars. Next up, another new interesting model, DWB5600. There are three color variants for this series. Basically, these are DW5600 model with Bluetooth connectivity. On top of that, all three variants get additional functionalities such as world time, multiple alarm, and afterglow settings. The DWB5600G-1 is the black version with a hint of red color on the watch face design. Next, we have the semi-transparent white version, and finally, a green color semi-transparent design. Both the black and green version have got the gradient straps just like the GAB001s. All three models are prices exactly the same at 15,400 Japanese yen, that is roughly 110 US dollars. Next up, we have the DWE5600PR, new color for this model. G-Shock says this model design inspiration comes from misaligned print color discolorations, hence the dual color design. This is a DWE model, so the band and bezel can be swapped out without any tools. G-Shock has included one additional band and bezel in the packaging of this watch. The watch goes for 23,100 Japanese yen, and that is roughly 160 US dollars. And finally, we are going to go to the last two watches in for this month, the GA2110SC-4. This is a new color variant for the 2100 series. Goes for 15,950 Japanese yen, roughly 110 US dollars. And the DW5610SC, which goes for 13,200 Japanese yen, and that is roughly 90 US dollars. That pretty much sums up all the watches that has been released by G-Shop for September 2022. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Till next time, stay safe and I'll see ya.